What's up guys? Thanks for coming back to the channel. So guys, today I'm going to show you how to get rid of an annoyance that was installed with the new Windows 11 update. So if you look down here, you may have noticed this on your system after doing updates and it doesn't let you right click on it to do anything. If you click on it, you see that this is the Copilot with Bing Chat. Copilot is an AI, an artificial intelligence, um, kind of like ChatGPT. I prefer ChatGPT. I use ChatGPT um, primarily. So I really don't wanna see this on my Windows 11 desktop and I don't like this icon here. So I'm gonna show you how to get rid of this today. There are a few ways to do it. Um, so that's what we're gonna dive into. Now, just disclaimer, like I'm not saying that Copilot is terrible. If you like it, certainly keep it and do your thing. Um, I've never used it, but I don't think that, um, I don't think it's a bad thing. It's kind of, you know, where we're headed with things today, but I have the preference of not having the icon and I use ChatGPT. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to get rid of this today. There are a few ways. The first way that I'm gonna show you is the easiest. However, some people are reporting that they are not seeing the option. So the first option here is in your search, just go to settings. And once you open settings, I'm gonna have you navigate right here to personalization and then right down here to taskbar. Now I have this option here, Copilot preview, to turn this off and on. If I toggle that to off, you see that icon disappears and back on and so on. So that is the first way. I'm not sure why some people are seeing that and some are not. In fact, I have another profile on this Windows 11 machine. If I go into that profile, everything is also up to date. I am not seeing, I'm not even seeing this icon. Um, so I'm not really sure why that is. So if you go here and you have this and you can simply turn it off, well, good for you. We're already done and you don't even have to uh, look at the other two options. Um, but if you aren't so lucky, follow along. I'll show you how to, how to remove it. So let's say that I didn't have this and so the icon remains. So let me show you option number two. Now, option number two, you're gonna go into your search and you're going to type group, and we're looking for the edit group policy here. So let me get this opened up a little bit. Perfect, and let me fix this here. So once you are in the group policy editor here, you're going to go to user configuration, make sure that you're on this, and then we're gonna go, I believe it is administrative templates, and then we're going to go to Windows components, and scroll all the way down to Windows Copilot. So you see that in here, and there's only one option in here, one setting, and it is set to not configured. So we're gonna right click on this, and we're gonna hit edit. Now, here's something that blows my mind, thanks to Microsoft doing things backwards. So we are in the setting to turn off Windows Copilot, but here's the kicker, you have to click enable. So you're essentially enabling <laughs> the turn off feature, which doesn't really make, well, it makes sense if you understand how Microsoft thinks. Um, but yes, one would think if you click enable, you're telling this button to appear, but it's the opposite. You're just enabling the turn off. So click that and we're going to hit apply. And as you can see down here, that goes away. It's no longer there. So we're going to, uh, if that does the trick for you, all you have to do is click okay and you are done. But let's say it doesn't do the trick for you. Okay, so we're gonna set it like it didn't, it's still there. All right, so I'm just gonna minimize this. So the third and final way to do this is we're gonna go to our registry editor. Now, once we bring up our registry editor, um, we're partially in the say in the correct area here. So bring up your registry editor. You're going to go to H key current user. You're going to do software and then down to policies and Microsoft, of course, and then Windows. And 
right here, what we are going to do, we are going to add a value. I'm sorry, we're going to add a key um, called Windows Copilot. So just right click on Windows here and we're going to do new key and we're going to name this Windows Copilot. Now it has to be named exactly like this with the capital W and the capital C right here. Um, so once you get that named, you're going to hit enter. Now, once you have that folder here, you're going to right click over here. We're going to do a new D word 32 bit value. And we are going to name this turn off windows copilot. Let me double check my spelling. And yes, it has to be capitalized exactly where it is capitalized there. Um, and then once you're done with that, you're gonna hit enter. And don't worry guys, I'm actually gonna put these instructions and all that stuff down in the description below for you. So you're not left out there floundering and having to rewind a thousand times. Um, so once you got that created, go ahead and double click that. And we're gonna give this a value data of one. And once we do that, we hit okay. Now it is still there, but it will, go away once you either restart the computer or we're going to trick it here we're going to cheat a little right click go to your task manager and all we're going to do is restart windows explorer so scroll all the way down got your windows explorer right click hit restart and when it comes back up you can see the icon is gone for the windows copilot so guys, that is it. That is three easy ways on how to get rid of that. Um, hopefully you only have to go through the first one. Um, I'm not really sure why. I think it might have to do with the, uh, with the versions. Like if you have Windows 11 Pro, you might have it in the settings menu. If you have Home, you might have to go through group policy and or registry here to get that to go away. But anyway, guys, that is it. If this was helpful for you, if it... Quit driving you crazy because you finally got rid of that icon. Click that like button down there. And if you could, please consider subscribing for future content. Thanks, guys.